Well, new tonight at 530, Buffalo's Department of Public Works is investigating whether a city plow hit a parked car over the weekend, leaving the owner of the vehicle with a lot of damage. Yeah, Channel 2's Jeff Provalis shows us the video and what the city is saying about it tonight. Pay attention to the right side of your screen and look where the red circle is. You can see as a city of Buffalo plow goes by, something pops out. A Buffalo woman says what popped out was the rear bumper of their roommate's car. Neighbors say the incident, captured on home surveillance, happened Sunday morning near the intersection of Highland Ave and Norwood Ave. We showed the video to Channel 2 legal analyst Barry Covert. What are the steps that the driver could take today? Go to City Hall, file a claim yes. with the city, contact certainly their insurance company. Yeah, they, they should immediately, number one, contact the insurance company. Number two, file a police report. Covert says the driver could also file a civil lawsuit against the city. And Covert says those cases could be tough to prove. The higher standard that the municipalities are now held to and have been under that law is recklessness, that he knew that there was a risk that he was going to cause this accident and he purposely disregarded that risk. Highland Ave has two-way traffic. You may be wondering why the plow driver was on the other side of the road. He's given a wide berth. The vehicle and traffic laws do not apply to him. He doesn't have to stay on his side of the road. He doesn't have to abide by using his turn signals, by speed requirements. The video also shows after the plow driver passes by, within seconds, the driver stops, goes in reverse, then drives away. We requested an on-camera interview with the city, but weren't granted one. But Buffalo DPW Commissioner Steve Stepniak tells me by phone the driver backed up to clear excess snow and that a full investigation has been launched to find out if, in fact, the plow hit the car. And Commissioner Stepniak also tells me that police will look to question any witnesses in the area. Efforts to speak to the owner of the car were not successful. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News.